Yeah. Well, many couples got engaged over the holiday. Many probably in Times Square at oh, the store. Oh, is it? kissing and all that. Yeah. But walking down the aisle is just one part of the life-changing event. Vicki Ziegler, family law attorney and author of The Premarital Planner, joins us to talk about what couples should do before taking the plunge. Welcome and Happy New Year. Thank We're going to say that until the end of the week. So. I know, honestly, just it's so amazing. You know. Happy New Year. Everyone looks so bright-eyed oh. and pushy <laughs> down and ready to go. We made it. We made it right? to the New Year. Totally. Well, no, you know, it's an exciting time for a lot of people, but ordinary couples and celebrity couples have gotten engaged. So is premarital planning important? How important is it? It's as important, honestly, as eating every single day, maybe that big meat sandwich, whatever we just saw. <laughs> it's crucial, and I don't understand why people aren't focusing more on it. It's not only about a wedding. As you know, you're married. Yes. One day. That's it. You plan for it. What about the lifetime? What about the fact that you're getting married and hopefully staying in a happy and healthy relationship? That's so crucial. That's why I wrote my book, The Premarital Planner. People are forgetting to think about the important topics and the issues and really just focusing on one day. Yeah, and but I think it kind of demystifies it a little bit though you know you want to stay in that love stage you don't want to talk about finances and things like that Everyone's you know it's like oh you're so unromantic Vicky what are you talking about I'm like listen what do I do for a living I divorce people so if you don't start listening to me you can just go down most of the paths because one out of two couples fail right and they get divorced in this country or you can do a little work I know Filling out a workbook is not fun. You know, how, what's your level of commitment? What's your emotional status? What's your financial status? Not fun, necessary. Get it out before you get married so you don't have to have those fights and those yeah. flare-ups when you're married. Because then you're stuck, yeah. right? You can't just run out and say, I'm leaving you. There's a legal process that's involved. Well, we mentioned that celebrities are the same as all of us when it comes to this, really. Details might be a little different, right? But um, we just saw Hugh Hefner and Crystal Harris get married. Yes. Maybe what were they discussing prior I'll make a guarantee and I'll probably make I would put bets in Vegas that they have the most ironclad prenuptial agreement ever I mean Hugh Hefner's 86 years old he's been married this is his third marriage I think she's in her late 20s so certainly a prenuptial agreement that's tight basically tells exactly what's gonna happen in the event of divorce also estate planning I think mm -hmm. he has four children so you don't want to make that messy he needs to make sure that he bequeaths who he wants to get his um, all of his money or most of his money mm -hmm. and that she knows exactly what she's gonna get in the event of death or divorce. Yeah, because he has children too. Yeah. That, Absolutely. Yeah. And prenuptial mm -hmm. agreements are only not about divorce. Um, honestly, if you're going to unfortunately pass away, you want to make sure that you're protecting your assets. Yeah, it's a very romantic part of the uh, process. <laughs> romantic you, and sexy, I know. You talk about the emotional. Stage when we're first into this, what should we right. be thinking and working on during that stage? Right, okay, so it's roles and expectations. You know what? Getting into a marriage is complicated. Who's going to stay home? Who's going to work? And that's going to be for the immediate future. But what happens down the road in five years? If somebody wants to have a child or adopt, men are staying home more and more, and the women are going into the workforce. Are you okay with that? You know, those are the yes. things that you should be talking about. <laughs> John Absolutely. Says, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I believe in that. Go for it. Power women. Let's go work. Um, what else? communication, the emotional things that are kind of hairy in a lot of ways. Nobody wants to talk about those red flags and when we have a fight, are we still respecting each other? Are we going to bed mad? Are we making up? You know, those are important things. How do we communicate? Um, and do we want children? How many? Can you have children? So those are the important things that I think about before you actually get married. And what about living together? Are you going to live together? Or are you going to wait, stay in your separate homes? You know, does that make sense? How do you feel from a religious perspective? I like those topics. Yeah. Those are serious topics. Those are the things that you can get into trouble with down the road. Those are foundation also, topics. Right, that right, is right, building right. your marital foundation. Yeah. Exactly, the premarital right. planner. That's what I'm exactly talking about. Basics that you say, oh my God, everyone talks about that. No, they don't. Kim Kardashian, second time around. Right. What happened? They, the first divorce, which hasn't even happened yet, mm -hmm. to Chris Humphreys, they, she wanted a child, he didn't. Why didn't they talk about that? Yeah. All right, they were married for 72 seconds, but yeah. um, I mean, 72 days, <laughs> well, of course, right, but it right. seemed like 72 it. seconds in, you know, the right. entertainment yeah. world. But the but big right. touchy subject, it, you know, when it comes down to it, finances, mm -hmm. and also I think so important to disclose your debts and assets as well. Right. You don't want to go down the road and say, oh my God, I didn't know you had a low FICO st score, or you owed all these people money, or your credit cards were maxed out and we can't even get a home. I mean, those are important. I always talk about airing your financial laundry. Get those skeletons out of the closet. Make sure that you're open and honest because you want to fix problems you don't want to throw them under the rug and honestly
honestly, people coming to me, getting divorced, what's the number one reason? Money. And they're fighting. And look, we're in a bad economy, a tough economy. You want to be honest and you want to work together. That's really important. You want to be honest and open about everything you have. The right. good, the bad, the ugly. Well, tough economy, but you also have to talk about wedding planning because that mm -hmm. needs to be taken into consideration. Yeah. So what advice do you have for wedding planning? Oh, this is so fun. See, this is the touchy fun thing that I think people should be talking about. And honestly, for me, it's the last stage. It's not the first stage where everyone thinks about. This is about, oh my God, tell everyone, tell the world you're engaged. Next, when are you setting your date? Is everyone going to be available? Then you say, okay, let's have a budget. Are we spending the money and, and doing this ourselves? Or are we going to ask for a contribution from our family members? Who's our bride? Who's going to be in our bridal party? Mm -hmm. And go get those magazines and look and dream and visualize this fantastic wedding. And you know what? Get your wedding dress. Get your thoughts in order. Who's going to be, uh, you know, what are your bridesmaids going to be wearing? And these are the fun things. But just remember, it's only one day. It's 1%. Yeah. And you have to pay for it. You do. And you you have know to what? Pay. And most people put it on their credit cards and they're still paying for oh. it. And you're paying interest on it. And don't you want to buy a house? And don't you want to raise your children? We and need give you them back everything? for that. Wow. We need you back to have that discussion. The so after much to think the about. wedding. The after no, great oh. things to think about. Oh. Oh. Listen, I could talk yeah. for days Thank and years you. about this, obviously. Thank you so much, Vicki Ziegler. We appreciate you coming in. My pleasure. Great to see you all. Well, take it from me, it's not easy being a natural beauty. <laughs> How to avoid the common traps in your daily routine. And also this, life after 30 Rock scene stealer Grizz Chapman is live on the couch sharing his plans for the future. Great plans, too.